Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerada.com, and this is the preview and tutorial for the Colorfall Action Collection. So here we have our Action Collection. The first step we're going to do is clean base. I have set it so that you can just go down the list, um, but they are you are able to use them in any format that you wish. So if you already have an image that's already basically edited, but you want to add fall colors, you can go ahead and skip parts of it. So I'm going to go ahead and start from the clean base and press play. Now this is going to give you a base that will help you bring your image back up to par if you shoot in RAW or any um, format. You'll be able to just bring it up to however you like it. So here you have color flash. Uh, this is for adding more light, dancing lights. Then you have dancing in the dark in case you want darker. You have image pop. Uh, you have a cooler action. And then you have down here crisp warmth, and that's warmer. And you can adjust any of these layers by adjusting the opacity here. You can also hide any layers you do not wish to have by pressing the eye here. Another thing you can do is you can adjust the whole entire group's opacity if you are in PS. You can also paint in the layer mask with a dark black soft paintbrush into the layer mask to take it off certain areas you do not want it to be. And that's how you use your clean base. I'm going to go ahead and run the clean base on this image now. And again, you can adjust the opacity if it's too much of each layer. Now with this fall crisp, it will take an image and sharpen it. This image is already small for the web, so I'm going to press Control-I, and you can invert that. Now you can choose a soft white paintbrush and paint on the areas you want it to be. So I'm just going to sharpen their faces a little and you can adjust the opacity. Now if you want to make it a fall edit, you can go ahead and use these colors here or you can use brush-on. Brush-ons are great for um, PSE 11 and 12 users since it doesn't have color range and also you can use it for if you want just different pops here and there or if you want to mix and match. So let's say you want orange over here and red up here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use the color range ones. So you want to use the dropper plus to choose the colors that you wish to change in your image. So you can go ahead and select all the colors. If you accidentally choose a color, then you can go to the negative dropper and deselect it again. And you can see over here in this box exactly what's being selected and what's not being selected. It does not have to be perfect. This is just a rough estimate. Once you have once you have the areas you think you want changed, you can press OK. And press continue. And now you have your image changed colors. Like I said earlier, this is just a rough estimate. So you can go ahead and use a black soft paintbrush and erase it anywhere that it might have gotten on accident. This looks pretty good. And then you can press the backslash key to see where it's located and where it's not. So if it's red, that means it's not on there. If it's uh, not red, that's where it's at applied. So I'm going to choose a white paintbrush and make sure my white layer is selected. And I'm going to go ahead and cover all the areas I want um, to be colorized. I'm just going to get all the areas it might have missed. Now 
Now, most of the time, at least where I live, the grass doesn't really change colors. So I'm just going to even it out here a little bit, and then I'm going to go back. Choose a black soft paintbrush and bring the opacity down. And I'm just going to swipe over it and bring back some of the color, just so it looks a little more realistic. And I'm going to do the same thing for up here, so it blends in more. There you go. And as with any other layer, you can always adjust the opacity for varying effects. Once you have your color, you can go down to the final image editor and you can select color cast remover if you have areas of your image that are still green or anything like that, or if you want to change a shirt color. I see their hair is a little purplish, so I'm going to go to color cast remover, press continue, and I'm going to choose a color that I want it to be. Again, this is just a rough estimate. You can always go back and change it. Press OK. Make sure your opacity is at 100%. That way you can just change the opacity of your layer. And then you can just paint over the areas. Now to change the color, you can double click this box and you can choose a different color that might match better. If you're still not getting the exact color that you want or you want something darker or lighter, you can come back into your clean base and click the dancing in the dark, which is dark. Invert that layer, mask. Choose a soft white paintbrush, and then you can just color parts of your image that you want to be dark. There, now it matches a little better. Now I'm going to select Lush, and that makes your image a little softer. You can play it multiple times if you want an even softer look. And you have no more dull, paint on color. If you want more color spots, choose a soft white paintbrush and paint in this black layer mask different areas of your image that you want more color. And you can adjust the opacity. can paint on depth and then these are actions that add more toning to it and you can adjust the opacity of the entire group or each layer and you can turn them on and off to see what each one does or you can just turn them off completely and you can mix and match these you have Apple Pie, Auto Muse, Maple Kiss, Dawn Review, and Frolic. And all of them give different effects. And then you have Rich Matte. I'm just going to show you an example here. And this gives a rich matting effect. Again, adjust the opacity of the entire group layer, or each individual layer, or just turn off one layer. Now I'm going to bring you over to another image that has already been worked on. We have a clean base, and then I changed her shirt color to white, so it kind of goes along with the theme better. And then I worked on, I added the background color, and then I had a little green showing through. So I added another, I added another color cast remover here and another one up here. And then I also changed the color of her floral halo here. Now what I'm also going to show you is a color fall haze. And this is a little too bright, 
So I'm going to go and you can either turn off which one is making it too bright on your image or you can just go ahead and adjust the opacities of each layer or the group. Now I just want it a little bit, not too much. Just to brighten it up a little, make it look a little hazier. Now I'm going to show you how to apply the color for a flare. So you just press play. Press continue. And then you grab your pointer and you drag it wherever you'd like it to be. Now you can come down here and edit it by resizing and rotating. Press the check mark. You can change its perspective by dragging the corners. You can also select golden hour. And this will make it a little darker. You can change the flare color by selecting any color on your image or in the color picker box. And press OK. And then you can add more color. So make it a little more colorful and brighter. And then if there's a, a flare in somebody's eyes or something, you can always go to the layer mask here and choose a soft black paintbrush. You can lower the opacity of it and you can erase it off of your subject. You also have tools down here that can help you edit. You can flatten image, resize for web, sharpen it for web, and happy ever after, which will flatten and save it for you. And that's really all there is to it. Now I'm going to take you over to Photoshop Elements really quick. It's the same thing. The only difference is you do not have groups or color range. I'm going to go over that. So this is the clean edit. Now you'll see there is no group to adjust the opacity of the entire uh, group, but you can do each layer just as we did in PS. And then also for PSE 11 and PSE 12, you do not have color range, so you cannot use these, but you can use the brush on just the same. And I'll show you how to use the brush on really quick. Press play. Press continue. And then you want to choose a soft paintbrush that's white. And you can adjust the softness by going to brush settings and hardness. So hardness at 0% would be soft. And you can go ahead and paint all over your image where you want it to be. If you make a mistake, like let's say I got some on her head, you can go choose a black soft paintbrush and erase it back off of her. You can also zoom in to make sure you get all the details and also use your backslash. I'm going to show you how to use the color range really quick. It's the same exact thing. Use a color plus dropper. And then press OK. And then make sure you erase off the areas you do not want it and then use a white paintbrush to color the areas it might have missed. Okay, 
and there you have it. I think that's pretty much it. This is great for editing regular pictures as well as pictures you want to change completely to fall or already there fall pictures. So you really have a, a wide variety of options here with this collection. I hope you enjoyed and this collection is available at summerauto.com. Thank you for watching.